hello everyone in this video we will discuss how we can update uh, dataverse records using alternate key if you do not have a GUID you can use alternate key uh, to update existing records to identify uniquely now here I have certificate master and here I have alternate key I have defined a alternate key called as name key and uh, I have chosen only the name field uh, to be part of the alternate key you can combine multiple columns also in the uh, in the alternate key uh, as a at uh, key attribute collection but for now i have taken only one field to represent as a unique key for my alternate key now using this key how i can update let us see so i want to update an existing uh, record let's say certificate one this is a record i have and i want to update the description okay so update the certification description whose name is certificate one so normally what we do we normally get the uh, gyd and update that record but without gyd also you can do that using alternate key so let me go to the csr code to tell you how it is done so here i have taken an entity uh, entity object chart and in that entity object i have taken the so not this one guys i have another code this one the second code so the second code is nothing but creating an entity object but here inside the entity constructor we are passing three parameters first parameter is the logical name of the entity and second parameter is the uh, uh, key uh, alternate key and the uh, third uh, third parameter is the value by which it will check and get the record so when you pass here certificate one that means this line will read the record uh, where the name is certificate one next you can pass the new value set description value let's say i want to update uh, certificate one new right then organization service update and i am passing the certificate inside certificate object inside this update message then certificate created just, just a right line message and let us see how it works let me just uh, run it now it will try to update the certificate record whose name is certificate one so this will represent uh, as a primary key now it is updated so let me check and refresh this it will refresh the description is updated you see guys so no need of gyd primary key alternate key will represent as a primary key and this is how you can write code right so let me commit out Okay, you understand how it is done? Thanks everyone.